teachers and students be friends? Well, these teachers say yes. Inside the classroom, I am still the teacher and they are still the students. Okay, because we have this common goal that we, we want them to pass the exam and be promoted to secondary school. But outside the class, we can be friends. The students know where they, they, they stand and you, you, you don't have to... Uh, you know, covertly tell them that, you know, at this point I'm just your friend. You are just who you are, a, a teacher and at the same time a friend. And how about for you, Mr. Ang, because um, you are not even 30 yet, you know, do you have, you know, a, a bigger issue than, you know, distinguishing, you know, them treating you as a friend rather than their teacher? I think it is very important to be friendly to students so that we remain approachable and they will be willing to come to us with their problems and ideas. So while we remain friendly, I think students will also know that there is a line that they shouldn't cross. So they need to adhere by proper standards. But still, uh, that line between teacher and students need not be always emphasised, but they have to know that there is a line. Mm. So I mean, how, how, how do you draw that line, you know, without mm. maybe coming across as, I don't want to be too close to you? Sometimes they just do it in a... Uh, giving them gentle reminder. Sometimes if they appear like they might cross the line, I just remind them, please watch your behaviour. <laughs> In today's digital age, it's common for teachers to connect with their students on social media sites like Facebook. But doing so can mean losing their privacy. Recently, a teacher who posted photos of himself with different women at a club drew flack from parents and netizens. Whatever I preach to the students, I try to live up to the expectations myself so that uh, we can be good role models for students as well. But there shouldn't be too much impact on our own social lives. We are still human beings after all, just that we have to be willing to be living role models for our students. Mm. Yeah, how, how open are you, how willing are you to be open about your social life to your students, you know, especially with, with Facebook and all that? Uh, we just have to be uh, more careful with what we post online and also make sure that whatever, like I said just now, whatever we post online, it wouldn't reflect badly on us and it wouldn't harm our students in any way. Being teachers, we have a greater responsibility, uh, being role models for the students to look up to. So definitely, um, I, I, I feel that we should walk the talk. Whatever we teach them, we should also carry it out, in, even in our daily life. So I have no issues with uh, um, having to be extra careful in my social life, um, being afraid that they will catch me in the wrong moments. Yeah. Well, I feel there's uh, no compromise whatsoever. I am who I am, and that's why I'm a teacher. You know, I enjoy the things that I'm doing in the social life, the social activity, which may also include, you know, going to the party, but not the kind of party I talk about, you know, and uh, having a good time. But, uh, and, and sometimes that good time also includes my student as well. <laughs> yeah. For more on what it takes to be a caring teacher who touches the lives of his or her students, watch our other clip.